Still on party matters, the People's Democratic Party has postponed its primary election in Edo State. The primary election, which was earlier slated to, for June 1920, has been postponed until June 23. The National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Kola Ologodino, confirmed the development. Joining us now is Dayo Lomuag, public affairs analyst, to take a look at the, you know, what is going on with the Edo elections. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Well, as, as we speak, uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki does not belong to any party, having resigned from the APC and yet to announce his new party. What are the implications of this for him and the uh, party politics in a Doe state? Uh, I think the, the, the times we are in in a Doe state is uh, uh, in, in, intriguing and uh, uh, maybe unfortunate too. Uh, so for, for, for going of Basaki, now you are, you, it's not in APC and uh, it's not yet in PDP. Uh, I mean, we're hearing that it's going to, that it's going to, it's going to, confirm his membership today but as it is uh there, there is sort of lacuna you, you it's neither here nor there and it's not an ind independent candidate uh but in the eye of the law how that translates in the, in the days to come i mean we will see uh but clearly i'm not sure what the law envisages around this and uh but clearly these are not the best time in Edo state Okay, what would be your advice to him now, since uh, his perceived political outflow is suspended, at least for, for the now, should he go back or should he join another party as he's been speculated? Some have even said that the PDP shifting of the date of its primary was an, a window to allow him to uh, join the party. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, the way it stands, uh, go... Going back to APC or joining PDP, I mean, you you you, you want to look at the thing, at the circumstances surrounding this. Now, if you if you if government Gobaseki is going back to APC, the question is what has changed? And then that because the narrative around his uh, uh, the the talks he's having with Oshuma, it has always been around the the Edo people, the interest of the Edo people. Uh, uh, so now, if you decide if you decide to go back to APC, the question would be uh, uh, what has changed? Now the, you said they have been persecuting you and all that because you you were not ready to 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 answer to some godfathers in Edo. Now you want to serve the people, and that is why you're thinking, oh, this they they, they have disqualified disqualify you from the uh, from the primaries. You want to go to another party. You want to look for other platform. Now suddenly, if he goes back, I, I'm not sure what is going to tell the poor popular the, 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 the followership. I'm not sure what is going to tell Nigerians. That, that, I, 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 and the other thing is. Uh, now, going back to APC, now, now the way it's APC, the, the, the current crisis is rocking APC. We don't even know how it's going to end. And, and uh, it's unfortunate. Yes, I know that all democracies in the world, they have the challenges, you know, but how issues are resolved. The level of maturity that's supposed to bear in resolving issues is very important. I, clearly, I don't see that in APC. And like uh, it's been said, I mean, members of APC should be ashamed of what is going on in the party. So I, I, I am saying or not, there is a situation that needs to be addressed. Uh, we, we still have a leadership crisis crisis there. As it stands, uh, two men are coming out as the, um, we have actually three people. Adjumobi is incapacitated at the moment and he has someone acting in yeah. his stead. And then we have Victor Gaidam who is insisting that he's a national uh, chairman, acting national chairman. And in that stead, he has cancelled the screening exercise that took place. So who do we go with at this point in time? What, what do you think should be the way out, you know, so that, as it stands, some would say, I mean, the governor Basaki still has um, a chance with the APC if you go with the Victor's, uh, Victor Gaidem's uh, fraction. It, 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 for me, uh, uh, going back to APC, now, now you see the, the fashion score, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I, I begin to perceive, I begin to foresee what happened in, in River State will likely happen in, in Edo State. Uh, uh, because whatever happens, whoever APC is bringing up, uh, and even if you win uh, the election as the governor, whoever the person is, whether it's Obasek or whoever, uh, I, I see a situation where the court is going to decide a lot of things here. The, the legality of, uh, of, uh, of that election, the legality of the primaries and all of that will still be subjected to, to, to court I mean, uh, the decision. 
So going back to APC, even if they give you TK and everybody is rallying around and you say, oh, you are a man, you are the, is the one they want to vote for. Now, at the end of the day, there will be a lot of legal issues. And I'm not saying going to, uh, if you're if you, if you, if you going to another party, you know, it, it, it may not even have that. There may be chances of court cases and all that. But I think the way PDP is trying to win him and they're making compromises that, uh, 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 you know, making compromises here and there to accommodate him so that he can contest in the primaries and all that. It shows maybe they want to give him chances. But clearly, if I want to advise, I, I, I will not, I, I don't see about say going back to APC. The, the PDP in this uh, case, some are saying that having the same person who they castigated in the last election come to be their flag bearer might not really give them the push that they think um, it would. There are others, however, who believe that with what uh, the governor has been able to achieve in a dose state, that might give him the needed push to become um, the governor again. What do you think of this? Is the PDP taking a real gamble? I mean, if you look at the, if you look at the flip side of what you just said, now, in the last election, uh, uh, APC was um, uh, Obaseki and the, the, the PDP was uh, uh, Iyamu. Now, it, it's the other flip now. Iyamu is trying to go for APC, and if, if uh, the other guy, I mean, if Obaseki goes for PDP, it's still the same flip. Now, so, so I think for me, politics is a game of numbers. If he has the numbers, it doesn't matter which party you actually go. So if that party supports you, and, and like uh, Obaseki is trying to do, if so many of his followership, if I mean, of his followers decide to follow him, like we are hearing, if they decided to follow him and they're going to vote him, and if other people really think that uh, he has served them in the last four years, if they can see projects here and there that have been commissioned, if they can see development that have been brought to the state, and they think they serve a second time, I think regardless of the party is going, I mean, uh, the, the, the platform is going, they will still likely vote him. So it's a game of numbers, and it does not really mean that uh, if he's going for PDP now that he's automatically a loss for him. That's wow. what I think. Yeah, let, let's see if that game of number will play out if we get to that point with all of these uh, shenanigans going on. Thank you so much for uh, your thoughts this morning. It's my pleasure. Thank you.